You're watching ABC 7 News at 6 on your side. New concerns tonight over the safety of Metro passengers after multiple smoke incidents in Metro tunnels over the weekend. They come one month after a woman was killed when smoke filled a train near LaFont Plaza. Stephen Sheeta reports on the new frustration for passengers and first responders. Coming through, unconscious person coming through. In an incident eerily similar to the event January 12th, which left a woman dead, a train came to an abrupt halt near the L'Enfant station this morning. Passengers say it sat there for more than 40 minutes. People are getting really, really upset on that train. Commuters are all the more worried following a weekend of turmoil on Metro. Metro experienced at least four smoke incidents. One at Foggy Bottom led to single tracking. So I think Metro really needs to get on top of it and get this problem figured out for everyone's safety. During a response to a report of smoke between Roslyn and Foggy Bottom Saturday, we uncovered another communication problem. Ma'am, can you contact DC Fire and see if they're operating off an encrypted channel? Firefighters in Arlington apparently unable to communicate with those in DC because the DC crew encrypted its communication. Well, initially they were told to go to channels that we don't have programmed into our radios. Meanwhile, Kelly Simon says after her ordeal on the Green Line this morning, she is considering altering her mode of transit. A lot of uh, other passengers and I really banded together and said we're going to have to kick out the doors to get out of here because once we got past, you know, the 45 minute mark, uh, we were starting to get pretty scared and concerned. We reached out to Metro, asked some questions about what happened this weekend and also about what went on on the Green Line this morning. We were told we would get some information Thursday. Stephen Cheetah, ABC 7 News. Thank you, Stephen. While Metro isn't talking about this weekend's problems, it is touting work to replace the front entrance escalator at the Bethesda station. Metro sent us these pictures showing major components arriving on Saturday despite the harsh weather. Metro estimates the replacement is more than 60% complete. 